I'd love for you to maybe share, you know, some thoughts around the key things that helped you uh, rise from being an analyst to becoming a SOC manager. Mm-hmm. Um, this is going to sound a little self-serving, but one of the big things was SANS. And, uh, like, <laughs> besides from that, I always just had like a really strong like interest in the topic. And so to me, um, a lot of the times I would go home and just continue to read and learn. And I, I built myself a home lab, which I'm still, you know, using daily. I got a bunch of servers in the basement and switches and all sorts of stuff. Uh, trying to like build out similar things to what we had at work, you know, at home and just learn the technology learn how it worked, learn how monitoring uh, functioned and that sort of thing. And so um, as with when I was an undergrad, like a significant portion of what I had done up until that point, was self-learning. And then that just kind of continued on once I got the job because I just had a, you know, an insatiable appetite to like take this stuff in because I was so interested by it. I love the challenge and uh, you know, the different things that you see every day. So I always just wanted to tear it apart because it was a really interesting puzzle to me. So just led to a lot of kind of doing it beyond the job and then also taking the formal training, going to conferences and just trying to soak it all up as fast as possible. And it worked out pretty well. 